first thing you do is to melt the chocolate in the microwave. I also soften the raspberry in the microwave, but you can do it at room temperature. Mix the raspberry with the white chocolate and set it aside. For this part, you have to be very careful melting the white chocolate. You can use a double boiler if you like. I like to melt the chocolate in the microwave every 10 seconds. I mix it, I put it back in the microwave for 10 seconds again until it's nearly melted and then I just mix it through. The initial temperature should be between 45 to 50 but as you can see easily you can melt chocolate to 32 degrees so I go that's why I go very slowly in the microwave and also if you put the temperature too high it will take longer to to cool it down then you need to put the temperature down you can pour it over the marble if you have, uh, but I find this way it's less messy. I just leave it there in my plastic bowl and I let the temperature go down to about 27 degrees Celsius, 27, 26. Then you get it off the ice bath and you need to put the temperature up very, very slightly until 27, 28 degrees. So you uh, you can put it back in the microwave for like five seconds <laughs> very very um for very very short five seconds you see the temperature will go up quite quickly so just so the chocolate is ready and it's soft enough for you to pour over your mold if you have a piping bag you can use that i'm using a snap lock bag and this is to help to reach the bottom of the mold also this help reduces the bubbles that can form also you need to give it a tap around it also to remove any bubbles that are left there at the bottom if you have a scraper you can use it to take the excess off from the top this also helps to give the chocolate a straight edge or you can use a knife or anything that you have handy If you find that the chocolate is getting too hard, you can put it back in the double boiler or in the microwave for 5 seconds until you reach 27 or 28 degrees Celsius again. Check the consistency of the filling to make sure that you'll be able to pipe it in the chocolate. If the chocolate went completely hard again, you may need to temper it again. And this is an important uh, step because otherwise the chocolate will melt. That's why we temper it so you get that nice snap in the chocolate. <laughs> Thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you next time